a community approach toward combating gun violence. It's not a gun issue. It's a behavioral issue. The movement trying to bring peace to city streets. Making Detroit a safer city. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 Action News at 11. I'm Amira David. And I'm Mike Duffy. Community leaders leaning on music, dance, and positivity to combat gun crimes in the city. So far this year, 669 people have been shot in non-fatal shootings across Detroit. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Grimmer spoke to advocates at an event today about the work they are doing to combat ongoing violence. We saw dozens of performers at this event, but I think many would agree that one performer in particular stood out. She's an elder, a rapper, and the energy behind this positivity. They call her my alias, AKA is Harriet Tubman of the hood. Joyce Brenham is a pastor, rapper, and former 30 year Detroit teacher who says she has spent far too many years in Detroit watching her kids be negatively impacted by gun violence. So she started a movement. The movement was birthed called Straight Backs. A straight back is strong. He strives not to do wrong. He supports the family and the community. Joyce says Saturday's event, Fun City Not Gun City, is a gathering of straight backs, creating positive vibes through music and dance to combat gun violence. Do you build up a tear down? Do you build up your school? A tear down. Do you build up your community? A tear down. Do you build up? Do you build up a tear down? So when they go to sleep, they're here that. According to the Detroit Police Department, Detroit continues to be one of the poorest and most violent cities in the country. So far this year, 669 people have been non-fatally shot in the city. More than 50 Detroit kids have been injured or killed. Statistics Fred Durham, co-chair of Detroit's Gun Violence Task Force, and Duan Zoe, an advocate for prevention with a past related to gun violence, know all too well. You know, it's not going to be just policing that helps us solve gun violence. It has to be a community approach. It's not a gun issue. It's a behavioral issue that has to be addressed. It wasn't a press conference, a gun trade-in, a community panel, but a night of dancing and rapping led by a community elder. One tangible step forward to hopefully help curb the violence. That means freedom. Uh, when we talk about Harriet Tubman, obviously we talk about freedom. Uh, and that means us being free from violence. I believe that the consciousness will eventually change. And Detroit will not have a high crime rate. <laughs> In Detroit, I'm Sarah Grimmer reporting.